All right, hello. Welcome to a new video. Today, I'm playing some more Crash Team Racing, and what I'm gonna do is attempt to beat Oxide at some of his tracks. We'll see how well I do. It's been a while, so I'm probably gonna be a bit pants. So here we are at Engines Labs, playing as Coco, probably my favorite character to play as in the game. People like to choose other characters. Anyway, we're off and away we go against that naughty Oxide. Oh dear, we skipped a lap two as I'm still on his tail. Might take a bit of a j- oh, Tits! Well, that went well. Right, here we are then as we come to the Tunnel of Love. Oh dear, this is a big tunnel. One of the biggest I've ever seen. Oh no. Right then, on to lap three, still doing well, can still see him in my sights. Oh no, I've been squashed like a complete pancake. Okay, my serious socks are on. It's time to face Oxide properly. Two lights, three lights, and a green light, and away we go. Coco against Coco against Oxide here at Engines Labs. Of course, Engines Home Race. Yay! One of my favourite tracks to play. In this video, I'm going to attempt to do probably three tracks. That'll probably make a good length of video. I don't want it to be too long and boring and whatnot, because then people will fall asleep. That includes you. No falling asleep. Exit the tunnel here. I'm still a little bit behind. I could do a bit better. But generally, what I find is on these Oxide Times is he takes a big lead, but then you can quickly catch him up the further you get into the race. Nice little bit of shortcut there. If you time that correctly, you can get one bounce on each corner and skip quite a lot of that turn. As you can see, I'm taking the lead. I'm in the lead of the race. Lovely. Take that Oxide, you alien poo wanger. I'm not sure what a poo wanger is, but I'm sure he does wang poos. What does wang even mean? You've got welly wanging. Does not mean he just throw? So he throws poo. What am I even on about? Anyway, yes. Depending on when you watch this video, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled might be out. So, if it's out, go buy it and challenge me. I've already played it a little bit at Comic Con. It was available at London Comic Con. I had a lovely time against Lou951 in Keyblade, whatever his letters are in his name. And I came first a couple of times, and Keyblade came first once. Although, it was so close to one of the races, because I got an Akko Akko mask right at the end. And for some reason, what I have noticed is you can get Akko Akko mask in first place. At least two or three times I got an Akko Akko mask when I was in first. I'm not sure if that's intentional, because maybe rarely on the PS1 would you ever get an Akko Akko mask in first. Anyway, meanwhile, while I've been waffling on, I'm winning comfortably. Through the Tunnel of Love, lovely. Oxide is getting absolutely mashed in this race. This is probably one of the medium difficulty tracks to beat Oxide. Of course, all the Oxide times are very difficult. And I don't think many people are expected to beat most of them. It's kind of like you're meant to beat Entropy and that's meant to be, well done, you beat Entropy. Then, oh no, Oxide just cheats all the time. Here we go into the last corner. It's a lot quicker to not jump on those ramps. And I take victory in your face, Oxide. No, 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 no. Go back to your home planet and cry like a little baby. So yes, of course I've named all my times bum because I'm a child. Anyway, I'll see you at the next track. Okay, it's now time for potentially my favorite track in the game. Sewers Speedway, that's right, I've been flushed down the toilet and I'm now in the sewers, oh dearie me, again playing as Coco, in all these races I am going to be playing as Coco, because she has kind of the best overall stats for these type of things, I'd say occasionally Dingodile and Tiny have the best top speeder better, using a nice little cheeky shortcut there, in order to be Oxide at this track you need to take that shortcut every time. And the other sneaky thing is, on these walls here, if you go further up, you get really good speed. That's how you get faster than him. Because this is actually one of potentially the hardest tracks to be Oxide at. 
It's one of my favourites and I'm really good at it, but for some reason they made Oxide's time really hard. So th the only way I found to beat him is to use those ramps at the end in that tunnel. As you can see I'm still on his tail, he's not too far ahead, I'm keeping him in my sights. Oh, we go through the nice shortcut. There is a longer version of that shortcut, but I've never seen any reason to go the long way around. The best way is to just jump off that bridge. Here we go, hopefully up the ramps again. And also what I have found is that barrel can be really annoying. <laughs> the amount of times I come around that corner and got squashed. Just because you can't, it's kind of like a blind corner, so you don't really know. Onwards to lap three. Of course, when this film is... Film? It's not really a film, it's kind of like a video, Sam, you idiot. But as this video is being recorded, currently E3 is going on. So what are people's thoughts about E3? Me, personally, never pay too much attention. If a brand new game's been announced, hooray! I'll find out about it in my own time, really. Twitter and stuff, or in my garden. Sometimes my neighbour might pop up over the fence and go, Oh, hello, Sam, did you hear about the new... I don't know, Garfield Kart game, and I'd be like, oh yes, I have, thank you very much. Anyway, I've won that race, lovely. Take that oxide, it got a bit close at the end because I made a few mistakes. But yes, I'm going to call myself bum again, oh no, how immature. But now we're going to move on to another track. Alright, here we go then for the Hot Air Skyway Grand Prix. How will it go? I don't know. Hopefully well. And away we go! Coco's off yet again, facing Coco and Oxide. Coming up for the shortcut now, will I make it? Ah, yes, of course I do. Currently miles in front. You know what, I'll take a bit of a jump. Oh. Boom! Okay, this is going well. This is not going well. Okay, it's lap three, I have a massive lead, don't mess... Oh, I've messed my pants completely then. Right, it's now time for the Corner Cut Grand Prix here at Hot Air Skyway. A track in the middle of the sky. Who built this track and how is it even standing? It defies gravity. What the hell? It's just magic. Anyway, yes. Lots of hot air balloons are about. This is Pinstripe's home track. Of course, you face him as a boss. Here we go for the big shortcut. Ah, made it. Always nervous making that shortcut. And as you can tell, I'm already in front of Oxide, so I don't need to use any shortcuts. But I'm going to use some shortcuts. <laughs> so, yeah, a little trick there. Jump over that wall. And you've just done a big old shortcut. I reckon I have to estimate that saves. 10 to 15 seconds, as you can see on the map in the bottom right corner. I am miles in front. And I was already in front of him before, so it's not like I needed to use that shortcut. I just like to, to show off. That's basically what this video is. Me showing off. Oh, look at me beating Oxide. I can't probably beat him at most tracks. Out of the tracks, I'd say the hardest ones are probably like Coco Park, because it's a basically a completely flat track and there's no ramps, there's no shortcuts, there's no tight turns that you can go around quicker than Oxide. Tracks like this where there's lots of tight turns and you get lots of boosts around corners are really good for beating Oxide. Yeah, I think Crash Cove is also up there as one of the hardest from memory. There's quite a few easy ones. I'd say this is probably one of the easiest ones. But anyway, currently lap two, I'm facing myself at least, I wonder if I'm going to beat my actual ghost time that I set to unlock him. Because of course to actually unlock Oxide's times, first of all you've got to set a relatively crappy lap and you go, oh, can you beat Entropy? You've just set a 5 minute 10 lap. And then you beat Entropy because he's a load of crap and let's be honest, probably a half eaten cat could beat Entropy at most of the tracks. Yeah, I'm doing very well against myself. Go me! Take that pass to me, you suck. But yeah, once you beat Entropy, you unlock Oxide. So it takes quite a while to actually unlock Oxide for these tracks. So going through all the tracks it is quite a long effort. There we go, over again. That time I didn't crash into the wall. 
that's about the perfect shortcut you can get. You always need a little boost before you ramp off and try and jump over that wall. I think some characters are easier to do it with than others. I find with Dingadal and Tiny, they end up just flying off the edge of the other side. But anyway, absolutely smashed it. My best time there, a 53.37. Still calling myself bum because I'm a silly man. But yes, so ends the video. I hope you enjoyed this one. There might be more. I'm planning on doing plenty of Crash Team Racing Nitro Field content. 